1972 Speedway. Very good condition, no rust. Sleeps too comfortably. Good engine, good compression, good oil pressure. Let's see, we got 40 pounds oil pressure. That's at idle, 40 pounds at idle. So I got a uh, ball joint or ball bearing kit in the uh, pressure relief valve. Rust free, never been hit. It's a high topper, made in Canada. It's been in uh, Washington, uh, uh, middle of Washington, where it's nice and dry. All the doors shut good. It's got a refrigerator, it's got a gas heater, uh, it's got a water tank. Front end's good. It's got a tire mount, which I don't have on there. Turn signals, everything works. Mirrors, got a new front windshield. It's got new sheet metal on the windshield here. This is all brand new. There's no rust on the frame. There's the other side. It's got a camper box on top. Let's, see. Let's take a look inside. Nice and clean on the inside, new upholstery, new foam in the seats, no cracks in the dash, got some green visors, another little look on the inside, real clean machine, no rust, even on the floor pans, nice and clean. I shut it off. Okay, got electric fuel pump override. That's it, just a nice nice camping van. Go anywhere. We've got Michelin tires on it, eight ply taxi cab tires, and it's got a sway bar underneath. I don't know if you can see the sway bar or not. Let me see if I can get down here. There it is. Full on heavy duty sway bar. This thing handles good on the freeway. The wind won't blow you around. All the brakes are new. Pads are good. Disc brakes in the front. Transmission shifts all gears. All the synchros are good. Nothing pops out of gear. Everything's quiet. All right. Let me walk around the back here. Back side. I have a Washington title for it. Clear, clear, clean title. And there's a. I guess they put a spare tire up there. There's room for a spare tire and maybe a boat or something, whatever you want to put up there. That's it for now. Ciao.